So what's going on everybody? How are you guys doing today? This is Party Kids Bringer Brain coming at you with a toy review on the NECA Ultimate Edition Gizmo. Of course we're going to take a look at the packaging first where you can get familiar with the figure. On the top we have the Gremlins logo. On the bottom of that you have Gizmo and a shadow of the Gremlins. And what you see isn't always what you get. Hopefully it's not the action figure but we'll see right now. And on the side of the box words that say gremlins and the NECA logo and the real toys logo as well and on the back of the box on the left hand corner you have the gremlins logo and some of the pictures of gizmo with all his accessories and on the side of the box you have the gremlins logo and the bottom of that you have the NECA logo and the real toys so let's crack this bad boy up and let's look at the action figure now that we got the figure outside the packaging, my first initial thoughts about the figure is that I don't like this figure, to be honest. I love NECA, and I love their work that they do on all their figures, but this figure, I'm very disappointed on them. It does come with a lot of accessories, so that's good for the figure, but the figure itself, I'm really disappointed. First, I paid $28 for the figure, and I thought it was going to be a good figure for seeing pictures and all that, but when I opened them up and was messing around with them, I just didn't like it, but we'll take a look at his accessories first, and we'll take a look at Gizmo. These are the accessories that comes with Gizmo. He does come with three face plates, one Santa Claus hat, one bow and arrow, one candy cane, one trumpet, and one arrow made out of a pencil. This is his first face plate that we're going to take a good look at. To remove the face plates, you just have to push forward. And, oh my god, my face, my face. But anyways, this is the face plate. You just press it down, and that's it. He has different expressions of him. This is more of his, like, surprise face, I guess. Um, not bad. I like the function of him that you can move his eyes. I don't remove this, and the reason why, because it's kind of hard to have his eyes forward without having something, like, gapping it. So that's a other complaint I have with the figure. This is a sad face. Not bad. Like, you can move the eyes left and right, up and down. So, I like the function they did with that. And I like the sad face. It's nice sculpted, nice painted, nicely done. This is his Rambo face. This is where the figure caught me. I like this faceplate, but like I said, there's like things about this figure that I'm going to get into. That I really don't like. But I like the bandana. That he has. Nicely sculpted. Nicely painted. And it has like a black wash. So that's nice that it's dirty. All around it. So that's good. And this is a Santa Claus hat. Nicely sculpted as well. I like how it looks like it's draping. To the side. So it's nicely done. There is some bleeding over here through the white and the red so that's a complaint I have with the painting but other than that it's nicely done and this is another complaint I have with the figure you can't it doesn't it doesn't sit at him at all like it doesn't like you just have to just like mount it like that and that's it it doesn't like like tighten up or anything it just like if something knocks it down it's gonna knock it down simply i'm just giving you guys a heads up on that it's just i just think it was just poorly executed and that's what i hate about this this accessory so it's really pointless on having him with that that it looks nice to have him like that but other than that, I really don't like it. And of course, his other accessory, the pencil. It's nicely done. I like the fact that it looks like an actual pencil. So I like this accessory too. 
This looks like a glue, I guess. I'm not sure what this is, but it's nicely done. Like I said, it looks like an actual pencil. I thought this was actually an eraser, but it wasn't. So that was nicely detailed to it. And another complaint I have, he doesn't hold it at all. So say you want to hold him to hold it, nothing. You cannot hold it at all. And that's what I have a complaint. And you're going to see on all the accessories, he cannot hold none of his accessories in his hands. Like, they're not made for him to hold it. Like, at all. Of course, you have his bow and arrow. Nicely done. Like, in the movie. So, I like the fact that they did that. But, like I said, it's pointless. Because he can't hold it. He can hold it like that. Over his shoulder. Well, I guess he can hold the bow and arrow. But I think that's it because his hands are not really tight. Like, they're gonna, this is gonna fall in a ma matter of time. It just, they're not tight. Like, you see that little gap pitch on the, in his hands? It's really nothing. And his other accessory, a candy cane, nicely sculpted as well, nicely painted. There is some bleeding into it, but I'm not too picky about that. I guess he could hold the candy cane, but he's not going to hold it tight. And in a matter of time, that's going to drop. As you can see, the gap is it's only holding it a little bit. And that's because I was forcing it to. It doesn't have, like, a fist hand for him to hold it. See? I just barely touched it. And, of course, he has his trumpet. Nicely sculpted as well. Nicely painted. Nicely dirtied around. So, I like that. Like, the inside is been blackwashed so I like that it cannot there's no articulation like you can't press it down it's not articulated from the buttons at all blow on it or anything like that so and there's no hole in the, the trumpet another accessory you have to force him to hold because he cannot hold it on his own as you may notice can only hold it if you like press on it at this angle and that's it now that we took a look at all his accessories let's look at the action figure I think NECA did a good job on the paint and sculpt of this figure it's nicely done but there are some areas that questions my judgment of their paint job like for instance on top of his head look at that look at that sloppy paint job it's horrible it's like if I painted it myself that's disappointing they did a nice job on the sculpting of his ears nicely detailed I like that even the back it has veins so they did a nice job on the sculpting of that. So I like that they did that on both of the ears, actually. They're not... Well, they're about the same. Well, not really. Like, the right-hand ear has more more veins into it. And the one left one does not. Mm -hmm. The hairs of it, too. They did a good job on the on the detail of it. So I like that, that they did that. And they ha added like a black wash to make it pop. So that's good. And I like when NECA does that on their figures. Even his hands are nicely sculpted. Nicely painted, nice skin tone to it. So I like that they did that on both of the hands. Even his feet are nicely sculpted. Like, the hair really stands out. But, like I said, there are minor complaints about this figure. And I'm going to touch on that right now. So, let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So, now to get into the articulation of the figure. This is going to be very short articulation video. Of course, his head can rotate right. 
and left. Can't move his head up about that much, down about that much. Does have ear articulation, so that's good. Can't move his arms out about that much. In does have a swivel on his bicep, does have a hinge on his wrist, can only move it a little bit. Doesn't have an ab crunch, and this is where the complaint comes his legs. Why can't I not move his legs at all for a $28 figure? I cannot move his legs. To me, that's a big disappointment. That you cannot move his legs at all. It's just... Just stays... His feet just stays in one position. And that's it. I don't get it. But anyways, let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. And now for the final judgment of this figure... Do I recommend this figure for you guys? No, I do not. Will I be having this figure in my collection? No, I will not. For $28, I shouldn't be this disappointed in a figure. I'm always 100% behind NECA on all their figures because of the detail and the articulation that they have. But this figure is a very disappointing figure. You ever went to McDonald's? And you got a Happy Meal when you were a kid. And you got a toy in that Happy Meal. That's what this figure reminds me of. Because it has a button in the back. That you press for a function. That's going to move his arms or his legs. But this time it just moves his eyes. That's what this figure reminds me of. It's just. I cannot call this an action figure. If. You cannot move his arms or bend his his arms at all or move his legs. Something that you should be able to with all your action figures. But anyways, I hope you like this review. If you can please like, comment, and subscribe for more content coming your way. And as always, have a good one.